Where did my career start? Um, I think when I was about um, 15, 16, I got together, um, met Sly and Robbie, and um, they brought me in the studio. And from there, I met people like Dennis Wright, who was the top manager of the Whalers. And um, through him, I was in England, New York, and I met Eric Foster White, the great producer. And um, that's how he got me to record and do showcases. And from there, got me signed to major label in my early 20s. Um, how did my life change? Um, <laughs> you know, before you um, have the success, you're not sure what will happen. So it, um, it just hits you out of nowhere. And um, it does change your life in a major way because you're, you know, you, you, you believe that you can be grounded. But then when it hits you and you have so much happening to you all at once and you're selling out of records and all these people love you and you believe the hype. So you can play with your brain a bit. And okay, everybody has an ego. So, you know, as a young guy with all this success and all the girls and every, every drug, every party is there for you. So you, you get caught in the whole party of it all. And yeah, it really affected me in a sense that it, you know, you made a lot of money, you lost a lot of money. You know, all your friends who were your friends were gone and you go through different depressive situations after these things disappear. So, it, it, you know, it had different, it had different uh, moods, you know, I was happy, I was sad and um, it kind of showed me the light of the world you know, in many ways, how human beings are when you have success, everybody loves you and then when things are not happening as well, people, go, they disappear. You know, and it affected, it did affect me in, in different ways. It was good and bad, but that's learning experience in life. You know? Yeah, um, what did I do in this what, eight year period as our hiatus or whatever? Um, my last record was in 2002, I think, which I, which I did with Mikhail Kratu, um, who's um, of course, the famous Kratu with Enigma, and um, we had a very successful album in 2000, 2001. The next record didn't really come out, didn't do well at all, and I kind of went into my shell, um, not doing much, and um, I concentrated actually working a lot with um, Kratu on Enigma records. We did about, about four records I worked on with Enigma in that time. And then from there, we did a um, best of of all the hits and new stunts in 2006. And then um, from, from there, um, we didn't do much until um, a friend of mine, who's a my guitar player, um, his name is Klaus Bittner, he, we, we were speaking one day and we said, hey, you know, there's a, this guy called Marcus Bourne, you know, in Heidelberg, Mannheim here. You know, maybe you should check him to see what we can do about getting together, doing some music, and just see what happens. And from there, you know, we, we got together, we worked, and it kind of gelled, and, we, and from there... Well, what has changed? Um, what is different album, with the new album? What is different with the new album? What has changed is that I'm, I'm all the more experienced and in the time of not doing a record for eight years, um, you know, I'm working with, say for instance, uh, guys from different areas, whether it's Mannheim or Cologne, I've got to learn the musicians from Germany because everybody's different in different countries, how they do things. And um, the sound is, I would say, a little bit closer to what I did on my first record, but no more modern and more, um, I would say, vocally more in your face. You, you really, I think, hear the essence of the, the, the tone of my voice, that it's not gone, it's still there. And um, musically, we are, we're, I think, trying many different things. And um, I just think the sound is um, where I should be at, at this stage of my life.
Where do I come from? Where I'm born? Uh, the land of the gifted, which is Kingston, Jamaica. Um, where do I live in Germany? Um, that's a good question. Um, as um, I've been in and out of Germany a lot. Um, so what I did when I, when I came to Germany due to working with um, Enigma, I saw various cities and I said, okay, if I'm going to be doing a lot of work here, I will choose a city where it's a nice, the nicest to me, you know, and I think um, Hamburg kind of appealed to me. You know, the whole infrastructure and the look of it, it's very, very beautiful city and very multicultural of all different types of nationalities, I guess because of the harbour and, you know, the fish mart and, you know, and it's um, the Keats and it's very entertaining, the whole city. So I decided, oh, maybe when I'm in Germany, this is where I would I think I would stay more than any other city, Hamburg. Uh, who discovered me? Um, of course, I'm a strong believer that um, God is the one who really discovered me based on he gave me the talent. So, um, of course, when I was born, my mother and grandmother always say that I had these, made these little songs, very high little songs when I was young. So. You know, very strongly.